Hey everybody, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm talking with Cristiano Marcelo, who's facing Joe Proctor at the UFC Fight Night in Jaragua. And um, thank you for taking the time, Cristiano. I know we're about a week away. How are you feeling before your fight? Uh, yeah, I feel great, you know. Every time I talk to you, you know, it's that I feel like something good is going to happen. Oh! <laughs> and, uh... I'm uh, I'm very very comfortable for this this fight because I know Joe you know I train with him I live with him for three months inside the the two fly house so I'm exciting you know yeah is that weird for you guys to be fighting each other since I mean you know him you know pretty well from from spending that much time with him yeah you know he's a good friend of mine you know I just stopped talking to him for these two months for the camp. Uh -huh. For don't be too much, <laughs> you know, strange in the time, in the moment of the fight. But you know, I like Proctor, you know. But that day we made so exciting, you know, and uh, the the sport most growing in the world mm -hmm. because there's a matter of friend or not. In the 15 minutes inside the cage, both are gonna try to take their the head off each other, you know. Right. But after that. Keep the relationship, you know, because I, I I like him a lot. He's a nice guy. He's a great uh, sport sportist. So I'm excited for the moment, you know. I think he he are too. He prepared himself a lot, like me. So me and him go there for give the best. Oh, good, very good. Um, you know, it's interesting. Um, have you been doing the same preparation for this fight, or or have you done anything different? I mean. Every time you fight for the UFC, you know, it matters more and more. So I'm just curious if you've been doing the same preparation or if you've changed anything. Are you there? Are you no, I, you have to change it, especially because he knows my game. You know, I know I know his game. And I uh, have to change, you know, I have a couple of new tricks for for him because you need it. In the in the days of the, the the MMA, you know, you have to every time prepare yourself better than the other one because people study a lot because you have it's not like before. Now we have a lot of things in YouTube. You know, you have to sell your image, you put something from your camp online. Yeah. So you have to change everything. You know, every time before a new opponent. Yeah. And I I'm a stud guy. You know, like I say, the moment I have to retire, in the moment I can not train in the same level with my guys in my gym. Or I cannot learn anything new, so it's not the case. Every time I I, I, I learn something new and I study every time more and more. Right, and I'm curious about your 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 stand up fighting. I mean, I have to be honest with you, Cristiano. There's been times when you've been fighting and I've been screaming for you to keep your hands up. <laughs> you know? you're, you're willing to take a punch to to give a punch, but um, but that can get you in a lot of trouble sometimes. No, for sure. I I uh, you know I. I mean, have a 25 years in jiu-jitsu, you know, I born inside the Grace family. And, uh, but uh, everybody know the potential I has on the ground. Yeah. So everybody yeah. use the wrestling to not go to the ground. Right. So <laughs> that's course. hard for me, you know. But I train more and more. I have my coach, Philip Silva. If you see my first fight, in the, for for Zufa, mm -hmm. even for being inside the house in two fly to my last fight against Kazuki Tokudomi, mm -hmm. you can see my evolution in my stand up game. Yeah. So I train more and more for that. But for sure, I'm gonna look for putting him down to be meeting him. Right. Well, obviously, that's that would not only get you, uh, uh, you know, more comfortable because that's where you are, uh, you know, uh, better suited as a as a jujitsu fighter. But also, I'm sure fighting near home, that's going to be something that you want to do. Are you going to look for a big submission win, you know, since you're fighting uh, at home? No, for sure. I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm from I'm born in Rio de Janeiro, but I live in South Brazil for 13 years. So Jaraguá do Sul is a one hour and a half from my my place right now, Curitiba, and I, a lot of, I, I, I walk on the street, people say, hey, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, so <laughs> I'm going to fight, like I'm going to fight in my, you know, in my backyard, right. so, you know, in the crowd in Brazil, I don't think you have a, you know, I fought all in the world, you know, any different place, you know, Middle East, States, and Japan, and, uh, you know, 
but nothing equal in Brazil. People nuts here, you know. <laughs> People scream and cheating, you know. So they, go, <laughs> you have in my case, you know what I mean. I don't think he's gonna feel because he's a, you know, he's a very prepared fighter. Mm -hmm. But for me, I have to put myself comfortable for, for the crowd don't push me too much for the fight. So I have to be calm and be cool for don't pass the point, you know. So, but for sure, the, the, the crowd's going to be one more inside the cage for me. Absolutely. Well, you know, I've been to Brazil a couple of times uh, for fights, and I will be in Brazil for your fight. I'm heading out uh, on Wednesday after UFC tonight, and I know everybody's, you know, chanting, oi, vai mojer, and all this stuff. So I know that uh, that gets you going for sure, right? Yeah, no, it's crazy, man. I love the Brazilian crowd, you know. And uh, the people there, I don't, I don't think any place in the world people be in the first fight in the preliminary card to the end. Yeah. You know, sometimes the, the security guy has to take care of people yeah. inside the the, <laughs> the arena. Right. So I, 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 I really hope you know, 13,000 people uh, scream my name, you know, and I push me to to have a a great fight at the night, and then uh, that I'm going to give to to them, you know, uh, my best. Nice. Well, All the time, it's finished, you know. doesn't matter, like you say, you know, sometimes put the, the heart of the people in the throat, you know, yeah. take it off their mouth because be nervous with my strike game or kind of stuff. But that's, I think, kind of, People like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, I come inside, I step inside the cage to win my fight, but I never gonna forget the sense submit or try to knock him out. That's how I, I think the UFC like it and the crowd love it. I don't want to go just for a win, you know, and hold and uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is boring, you know. The time I have to be that, do that, I think it's another way to stop fighting, you know. Well, it's been a while since you were in the inside the octagon. You know, you mentioned that your last fight was uh, on the Macau card. So why have you had such a long layoff? Because it's been about 11 months. Yeah, the, I have a problem with my left, my, my left knee, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I had to stop training for four months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a, the, the, to prepare my, 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 my body to back training, you know, all kind of things. Mm -hmm. And fix my gym, too. CMC, you know, for four years consecutive, I got the award for best gene in the South of Brazil. I got uh, best coach. So, you know, close to 40 pro fighters, you know, 20 living in my gym in the dormitories. Mm -hmm. So I have to take care with my boys too. So, and the moment the UFC say, man, you know, it's gonna be good to you in uh, Jaraguá do Sul. I prepare myself, you know, three months for this fight, and uh, you know, I'm. Very happy to be there. Very nice. Well, and some people may not realize your history and how far you go back with some of the big names in the UFC, like Shogun and Vanderlei. And I mean, for, for those who don't know, can you kind of sum up why, how long you've, you know, had this relationship with some of these fighters and how long you yourself have been in the game? Yeah, I mean, I have a 15 years inside the MMA, you know, the time, back time is a Vale Tudo, mm -hmm. you know, I have a four fights, you know, two Grand, two, two grand Prix, you know. Uh, no gloves, no rules at all in Brazil. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> to 1997, Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva debuted in the same day. Fabrício Camões, you know, is my cousin. They they fought in the same day too. Evangelista Cyborg. So uh, I'm, you know, uh, Jiu-Jitsu head coach for shoot box for eight years. You know, I graduated Shogun, Vanderlei, and uh, Rafael Cordeiro. Uh, you know, Murilo uh, Ninja. All these guys, you know. I help the guys build the, the great career the guys has, you know, be a champion pride, you know, and uh, help in, in jiu-jitsu ground game for, for, for them. You know. Very nice. And I'm curious what you think of jiu-jitsu in, in the UFC right now and just in general in MMA. Do you like what you're seeing with the evolution of how jiu-jitsu is being used in MMA? So, you know, it's a great question. The thing is, I don't see too much jiu-jitsu now yeah. because the, the, because of two situations. First one, people not have the jiu-jitsu now like uh, before, uh, background. Now the most new face, new talent is coming from MMA, is the athlete from MMA, it's not from, coming from jiu-jitsu, you know. Mm -hmm. 
They train jiu-jitsu, they train in Muay Thai, they train in wrestling, everything equal. It's not coming for the jiu-jitsu background. So they're going to lose some uh, effect in jiu-jitsu or in Muay Thai because they don't, it's not coming from the sport. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is going to happen with wrestling too, it's going to happen with the boxing, coming from the boxing background or the wrestling background. And the other thing, you know, mostly have to fight for win. You know, fight for sub or uh, submit or oh, knock him out because they don't want to put yourself to the guy do something against you. You know, I think that's the problem. But you know, we still have a great jiu-jitsu fighters in the game. You know, mm -hmm. so every time it's gonna be, but I don't think it's gonna be too much because the the the, the situation like I explained before. Do you still compete in just jiu-jitsu tournaments at all? No, I don't have, you know, the thing is, I competed, I started competing with 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I stopped competing, my last competition in, in 2002. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I don't have, before I, I compete in Jiu-Jitsu, I have to stop competing in MMA because yeah. the guys train like him, us in, 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 for competing in, in MMA. I don't want to put uh, my, myself in this way, you know. Mm -hmm. If I do something like that, I, I, I have to prepare myself 100% because I'm a very competitive, competitive guy, you know. Yeah. So, but 100%, uh, I want to compete in Jiu-Jitsu again. And I, and I, I compete in wrestling, Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, everything. Yeah. Just I need to go, you know, the, like Tufi, Friday, UFC. Mm -hmm. I just need one thing more, you know. That's I want to be in the ADCC. Yeah. ACC, I, I did every the best events in the world. Right, right. Well, very cool. Well, there's still time for that, so. No, for sure, for sure. You know, I have a, uh, I contact to some guys, you know, yeah. and I see yeah. I want to do that, and uh, the guys say this is a great idea. You know, let's see what's gonna happen next year. Yeah, for sure. Well, great. Well, like I said, I will be uh, in Brazil in uh, in less than a week. I'm looking forward to your fight, and I just want to say thanks again for taking the time, and have fun out there. I know it's going to be more fun for you with your hometown crowd, but just make sure you, you go out there and put on a great show. Great. Thanks a lot for for your time again, and uh, you open uh, your show. is a great show everybody likes in Brazil. <laughs> okay. And uh, I, I, I can say something for you, you know. The we, you know, I... Every time I'm looking for that, but I'm going to give you my best. I, I, I not just go to win the fight. I go to for, you know, best fight of the night or best super of the night. You know? right. That you guys can, can wait for. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great. Thank you. I appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.